happy to do this with you. I'm happy to do this with you too. So this is Marciana, everybody. And uh, I'm really, really happy to finally have you on the channel. We've been working together a long time, a few years yes. now, right? Yes, I've been following you for two and we've been working together for one. Yeah, so yeah. it's really great to, uh, to have you on because... Uh, I just like the way you think. And uh, Marciana is a school counselor. So she is the perfect person to come on the channel and talk about um, a lot of these issues that we're seeing here. And, and especially in light of what is going on and what happened yesterday, a lot more has unfolded uh, today that I will state these facts that have come through. Uh, and, uh, it's just, it's just really disturbing. Uh, but I got this text from Marciana last night and I was like, oh, I said, uh, I, you know, this is, this is just one of many texts that I got from people I'm working with about this video that I put up about, uh, uh, Derek Jackson here. And, uh, so do you mind if I read your, your text, Marcy, Marciana? Right um, ahead. I don't mind. Yes, go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> you said, um, just watched your video. I deleted his folder. We're talking about uh, uh, Derek Jackson right now. I deleted his folder in my email from all the things I joined of his. I closed the tab. I had open of webinars from him. I'm unfollowing him. We don't trust and we learn to trust through these jerks and then they deceive us. It's the highest form of abuse next to the Catholic priest molesting those innocent little boys. That's why this hurts. My partner called me and the second I saw his face last night, I broke down crying and he said, please, and I said, please don't hurt me. He was so taken by surprise. I tried so hard not to let the triggers caused by Derek Jackson to not rub off on my partner and I, and I literally broke down. This is real people that Derek messed with who are abused survivors. And then to showcase his abused, his abused wife to us causing, you know, all of us to be tri triggered is pure evil. You and a couple other female coaches I trust and will follow, but all the men, I'm not watching a single video from them again. I pray nothing comes out of Stephen or Trent. I pray for that. This is brutal. You're right about the prices that they charge, even these female ones. That's why I chose you. And I remember you being shocked when I told you the prices some of these coaches were charging. I'm so sorry, Trace, you did great by posting your video because it helps us not feel stupid for feeling like we feel over a stranger who we started to learn to trust from. Deceitful, despicable, disturbing, sickening, and insidious. The devil is working through so many people, it's scary. And I thank God for you and for putting your page on my phone. Two years now, I've been learning from you and I'll continue to do so. Thank you for such a, a text yesterday, Marcy. And all the other uh, all the other texts I've been getting from the people I'm working with, thank you so much because it means a lot to me that I don't feel so alone myself. I mean, we all got bamboozled. We got bamboozled hardcore. Hardcore. <laughs> right? And so... Before I let you get, uh, uh, I don't know if you know some of the, the things that have happened today because you've been at work. Yeah, uh, not today because I needed a break after yesterday. After I broke down crying to the guy that I'm dating, I was like, whoa, like that is, this is not healthy for us, especially those of us who have done healing, you yeah. know, yep. I, I'm, you know, I'm two years out of my first narc relationship. My ex-husband was a narc. Um, you know, the boyfriend after the guy I dated after my husband was a narc, I've done so much healing this past year. And for all that healing to kind of disappear after a seven minute video of watching his wife, like imagine people that are just fresh out of these relationships with these people. Yeah. And it took, it, it affected me that much to where the second I saw my partner, the second him and I FaceTimed each other, I just started, I lost it. And that's not fair to him. It's not fair to us. It's not fair to me. And it's all caused by one person. Yeah. So, yes, yes. It's amazing. It's amazing. You know, he's, he's going around thinking, I can't, I can't even believe the things that have unfolded. So the first thing, the first thing I want to, I want to talk about is the fact that I didn't bring this up yesterday. The fact that in his second video, he calls her the wife and I, the wife and I, does she not have a name, Derek? 
Does she not have what, an actual What is her name? What um, is her name? Denea. Her name's Denea. But you know, you know, that this kind of stuff, uh, I went through myself. I was always called the wife. It, it's 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 a silly little game to these to these to these mm-hmm. jokes jokesters you know they love to they love to say things like that the wife and I that's what you are to them you're a property you're a piece of you're a piece of meat your property you belong to them you're the wife I love how he how he he names his video that the wife and I going live it's like property she's not even a human being right we're not human beings to these people it, it's so it's so clear cut now it's so clear cut that's why I, I wanted to do this video tonight because I want to I want to show you guys what a real true uh I mean he's he's one of the biggest narcissists right now worldwide as, as far as I'm concerned he's he's unbelievable um notice so so <laughs> he did this third video okay that he puts up yesterday making an absolute fool of himself I'm talking he was literally doing what he does, which is he takes he takes a video of people and he breaks down the you know what he thinks about the couple or who's talking, and he does this literally on him and the wife's interview and talking about it in third person, like he's talking about somebody that he doesn't even know. So this video, okay, goes up last night literally while I was going live. The video goes up. And, and, and it was so bad. I mean, he literally was blaming us for putting him on a pedestal. He literally was victim shaming us and saying that, you know, nobody should be put on a pedestal like this. I mean, you sick, sick, evil man. Okay. And then as he's doing this and he's literally, I mean, you're literally watching somebody have a mental breakdown in this video is, is really what you're watching. And by the end, you know, he's, 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 he's analyzing himself and you know, what I think he actually meant, he would say, you know, after he'd stopped the video and started up again, he's literally, literally talking about himself like a sick, a sick Ted Bundy kind of uh, behavior of talking in third person. That's what Ted Bundy did. So we're not, I don't even think we're dealing with a narcissist, you guys. I think we're dealing with a psychopath. All right. Psychopath slash sociopath. Yeah. Then at the end, he promotes his book. This is why you no. buy my book about healing together. <laughs> He's going to use this for his advantage. Oh, it, it He's going to capitalize. Better. Oh, Marciana, it gets better than it gets better. So as he puts this this piece of crap out of material, it's that's just mind boggling. You're literally watching a person have a mental breakdown. He literally uh, puts the video up. The comments are coming in, rolling in. As you know, they're 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 not good. So what does he do? The last three videos, he disables the comments and he disables the like and dislike button. Talk about a narcissist. Narcissistic well, he people don't want you to know how many followers they have when they're screwing up or whatever. Just their ego can't handle certain things because you know they're in it for the wrong reasons. So mm-hmm. what is he doing? He's taking down the comments because he can't stand the truth. What's the matter, yeah. Derek? You want to put out this crap? You want to? You want to? You want to bamboozle and, and and fool millions and billions of people around yeah. the world? And now you want to disable the comments, right? Well, and and suppressing his wife from getting help. And the encouragement to seek help and to leave again, yep. like someone needs to remove her from the house and bring her to her family. Like this poor woman. That that woman. And so it gets better. I want to make sure you know all this before I let you have the floor. After he does that, yeah, he takes his video. Finally, he takes the video down. What does a narcissist do? They don't like it, right? They, they're grasping at straws. You know, the narc oh, yeah. you know, sitting around. He's seeing yeah. all the comments. He's he's licking his wounds and he's sitting there going, oh my, oh my God, I got to take this down now. So it takes yeah. it down. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't go their way. It never happened. That never happened. Yeah. Not in my reality. Unbelievable. Is this not, is this just like, I can't even believe we're talking about this. No. This was somebody you and I in session used to have conversations about how we really enjoy his work right Mm -hmm. yeah yeah we've I've talked to you about a few few males that I follow and that I will continue to follow they're Christian leaders and I pray nothing ever comes out you know I met Trent as a person he is a good Christian loving husband and I just pray that there's hope that we can trust some of these people yeah and 
that's all we have right now, you know? You know, I'm really glad that you brought up the point that it helped others. Me coming out on my video helped others not feel foolish as well, because I really did. I'm really taking this like, you know, I understand that there's some other coaches out there that I apparently saw right through him. Um, and, you know, hey, good, good on them for the discernment. Uh, because, mm -hmm. you know, I, you know, I, I really, um, like I said, I thought he was, he, he was different. I thought he was unique. And I, and I said, somebody needs to be talking about this. And he was, he was used, he was one of the only ones talking about it. Yeah. You got a yeah. lot of these dating relationship coaches, right. And they're not talking like, like that, that straightforward about the, the, the you know, the, the BS that's going on in the dating scene. No, because they're outing themselves too. If they do that, they, they're, it's like, they are so calculated with how they deliver themselves and what they want to teach us to where it will never kind of like backfire on them. So for us that we're searching, we're on the internet searching for answers, you know, that's how I found you. Uh, what is narcissism? And everything is happening to us. So when we see a, a strong man, you know, who's Christian seems put together, we're naturally going to latch onto that. Okay. Yes. And many of that could be our daddy syndrome issues. You know what I mean? We want that strong male presence to finally be that dad we never had. If that's how you want to look at it, you know, nature versus nurture. I think it's both. Yeah. And, um, cause I had both my parents in the household, they were both physically present, but there was some, you know, things that didn't, weren't healthy for me growing up and hence there, why I have issues with men, you know? Yes. And so we latch on to them and we learn to trust strangers through a screen. Yeah. And yeah. now when I talk about that to my friends or even my partner, who's a very great man who I'm learning to trust and it's scary to trust him. Now it's like, can I trust him? Because Derek Jackson if he's a Christian man, just did this to his wife, you know, and to what? all of us, because don't and forget, to, oh. he aired out his whole relationship to the world. So yeah. this all belongs to us. This, this, this yeah. game belongs to us. Yeah. Right. And so for those of us who are learning to trust again, and it's terrifying to trust, and then to have a Christian man just like that. I mean, that that's kind of what my ex-husband did. It's like, I was trying my best. He was a Christian man. I thought he was going to stick to the vows. And just woof, like that. Yeah. And so when you're learning to trust again and you're giving your money to this mofo and expecting to have healed from, yeah, we are putting him on a pedestal because he is presenting on a pedestal. Yeah. He has the platform as yes. a pedestal. Yes. 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 Don't don't be don't be on there. I mean, it's like I said, I mean, he got caught red handed. He had no intentions of growth unless something, and you notice these narcissistic men, that's how it is. Narcissistic yeah. men and women, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to say anything. They're going to hide in the shadows until, yeah. until somebody were to out them. That's how yeah. it all, that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what, you know, uh, it's true. It's, it's not, it's, it, this is not our fault. For, no, for, no. For, for this, this is no. not our fault. And once again, I'm thinking to myself today, wait a second, this is not our fault that we, we followed somebody that, uh, was, was really seeming to be genuine and, and coming out there and doing these things and, and saying with it like it is. Gold. Yeah. With a heart of gold, what it seemed and speaking yeah. from God, we're thinking this is the words of God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause we want to hear from God. We're desperate to hear from God because we've been hearing from the devil for so long. You know, I just had the thought. I just had this thought. I was talking to one of my clients. It wasn't long ago when Derek Jackson started to really start to talk more about God, which was very recent. Now we, we know why. Okay. He started talking about God in his videos. And you know what I said? I said, wow, this man really is smart because he didn't really go there in the beginning. And I thought, well, He's got such a, ma a massive following right now that if he wants to now put on his views, people are going to respect them or listen to him and talk about Jesus because, uh, because he's so well known and people he's built his respect of others. So I'm thinking he's being smart talking about God. No, he's already had the guilty conscience because as we know, the wife found out about this in the summer, right? 
So, so he's, so he's now notice these stinking narcs have to pull out the God card when, when, when they, when then now it's all about God, him and her are talking in the video all about God, 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 God. Yeah. Unbelievable. And we're supposed to be turning towards people that are God godly you know that have a god-given influence you know we're right. we're striving to become one again with god and then now it's getting harder to trust god because it's like well are you and i gotta remind myself no this is the devil this isn't god right yeah. this is yeah. god working right here with what we're doing right now right yeah. god flowing through us because we know we are good people who are you know survivors and trying to help others and we don't have another kind of motive but right. that is evil that that's not God. And we have to remember that God did not send the narcissist. The devil did God delivered us out. Yeah. God brought us to people on YouTube who are going to help us and stuff like that, but not all the people on YouTube are God. They're from the devil. Yeah. How about this one? I said, I said to my prayer and fast group last night because they were all commenting on it. They, they had seen the video and we were all talking and, um, as a matter of fact, that's what I've got again tonight. We're going to get together. I'm doing a deliverance prayer over everybody. But ha having said that, you know, I said, I said to all of them last night, it's like, here we are. Okay. This community, people that are, are part of this community, we're all on, we're all on there for a reason, right? Many, if, mo if, if not most of us are at a different place in our lives than we were, say, even a few years ago, we're sick and tired of certain scenes. We don't like hanging out in bar rooms anymore. It doesn't interest us. Um, we're, you know, a lot of us grew up in the same town we still live in or, or whatever. And the bottom line is then when you got the pandemic, it was really hard to meet people, right? So here I am, I'm trying to create these platforms. Like I'm going to do this YouTube social to try and get people to meet yeah, because uh, I'm thinking yeah. it's a good idea, right? But yeah. here, here, you know, we're all in this sort of thing together. We... The, most of us don't 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 subscribe to cable television anymore. We don't even watch that garbage. So what are we doing? We're on YouTube trying to find like-minded individuals and connect to good people. And and you know, it's it's just it shows it shows you that it's everywhere. It's just, it's just these people are everywhere. When you become woke to narcissism, it's mind-blowing. It's like your innocence is no longer there anymore. Your innocence is no longer in the workplace. Your innocence is no longer there with family, with friends, partners. And it's awful. It's awful because we are good, loving people who are just trying to love, just trying to trust, just trying to be wanted, appreciated. You know, that's what we want because a lot of us didn't get that when we were younger or for whatever reasons, you know? Right. And for a Christian man to broadcast his abused wife and then for her to feel forced to say god is fixing god is working for us it's like that's not god that's the enemy right there yeah that that's the enemy and it's it's just so sad you know it it was so sad to see because i was her you were once her yeah, yeah. eyes gone you know people told me they're like marcy your eyes are gone right and just the flat expression from us, the like this, there's no more to give. There's no more energy to not even have a bra on. I'm wearing a bra right now because I want to feel good when I'm going live, you know, and yeah. to just be wearing a sweatshirt and pants like that, like that broke my heart. This poor woman doesn't deserve this. Yeah. And yeah. you see where she was at when that one YouTube lady who I saw, I don't follow her, but that's how I found out about it. She was going through her, the wife's um, page on Instagram, and it was showing how she was so strong before and always dressed and always had her hair did. But now look at her. This is what these narcs do to us. Yeah. They seek and destroy us. And yeah. if a man is Christian, there shouldn't be no evil, right? They yeah. should love us and never do what they did, right? When I married my ex-husband, I'm like, he's Christian. I'm good. He's not going to hurt me, right? Yeah. Well, he hurts me. Now, one of my Christian pe people that I'm learning to trust from and change and grow from, now he's doing the same stuff. This doesn't make God, this doesn't make Christians that, you know, those of us are good. It doesn't make any of us look good. 
And then we're suffering alone on ourselves. We can't go to our friends about this. Like my partner last night, he couldn't understand. He goes, but Marcy, he's a stranger. He's a stranger. Why are you so upset right now? It's just a stranger. You don't know his wife, but it's like, no, but I'm an empath. I feel what his wife is feeling right now. Yeah. I've oh. gone through that. Right. Yeah. So I mean, you, I mean, I mean, being in the shoes that we were, we can see a broken woman. Like, yes, we, we know what that looks like, you know? Yes. Um. <laughs> yeah. And so by you posting the video when you did, it was perfect timing because that's when a lot of us were seeing it. And we want to come to somebody who's calm, somebody who's neutral, someone who has been speaking the word of God since day one. <laughs> you know, we, we need that right now because our friends, even though they love us and they want to see us through everything, they don't get it. Not even therapists are going to fully understand this because they've never gone through it. So we have to turn to each other. Yes. We have yeah. to. Yeah, it's true. It's so true. Now more than ever, we really have to stick together as a, as a, you know, as a voice of our own, basically, because I mean, I mean, these people are right under our nose and, uh, and doing a very, very good job of it. You know, oh, I mean, yeah. and again, I, I thought more about it today. I'm like, you know, this is just not, um, our fault. Like, this is just not, this is this this has nothing to do with with us you know being a stinking fool or or not having discernment i'm sorry because i'm all about supporting people that you know uh are doing the right thing and 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 saying things like it is you know they might not be um you know uh he had a he had a sense of humor and and all of it you know right up my alley but uh now he's like a decent human being yeah and we spent hundreds on him yeah, I, I remember him advertising his platform. Like, if you don't get the bundle, it's two hundred and fifty for that, three hundred for that. So I was already kind of weary of him, but because of how he was presenting and delivering, and I was like, "Yes, preach, brother, preach!" You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I was like, "This is a man I can follow and trust." I gave money to him that I didn't even have because I was desperate for help because yeah, yeah. I had hit ground zero. The suicidology was there. Everything was there after everything I went through. And here's the first man, the first man who I trusted, who gave money to. And now he did this to me. You know, I know he did it to all of us, but I'm just speaking about me. I'm there going, you did this to me after I just gave you hundreds of dollars of my money that I didn't have to go to you for guidance. And you just completely betrayed me, deceived me. And you're a womanizer. You're a straight up womanizer. And yeah. I was thinking back when I was watching his stuff and when I was in his little text exchange community, never once was that wife mentioned. Never once was there a photo of her and him. He was talking like he was single the whole time, telling women on the thing, they're so beautiful. And eventually after like two weeks, I'm like, I'm not getting anywhere with this. I'm not growing from this. Oh, wow. I, feel yeah, I didn't even know about any of these programs. I mean, the only thing I ever did was buy, mm -hmm. uh, actually my best friend bought a book, bought the book for me and her, yeah. but I didn't, I didn't well, know about these. There was, a, there was a damn app. There was a damn app that I had to download and register for and pay for the things. And so I'm going through this live chat because he would do a live bedroom chat. Like, and... It would be around dinner time, you know? And I remember my mom calling me and my mom goes, oh, what are you doing tonight? I said, oh, cooking dinner with Derek Jackson. And she's like, who's that? And I said, oh, a life coach that, you know, is helping me. You know, I have my phone right here next to me, right there propped up on the blender. And I was chopping up and I was starting to feel good. I was starting to come alive again, you know? But then it's like when I stopped cooking dinner and it was still going, cause it'd be like three hours long. I'd be like, this is all drama. This is all. He, he could see each and every one of you on the app. Yeah, because it was our pictures. He'd be telling women they are beautiful. Oh, you're so beautiful. Don't fall for that. You know what I mean? And he was laying in his bed. He was laying in his bed. His, the bed behind him, it was like a dark black brownish with like the cross and like little, you know, diamond shiny looking things. He was in his bed now, doing this. He uses his bed for, for a lot of different things, doesn't he? He 
Yes, he does. Yes, this man does. And so I finally started to not feel okay with it. Like something was telling me, Marcy, you have Trent, you have Stefan, you have Trace. Like you're getting more from watching their videos than you are from subscribing to this guy's stuff. So eventually I got out, but I kept the webinar tab open mm -hmm. on my Google. I kept it open because I was like, well, maybe I'll come back to this one day. It's been open for over a year. I never went back. And so last night I closed it. I went into my email account. I deleted wow. that. See, you I didn't know even know me? any of this. I didn't even know. Yeah. Any See, this it was is like a monthly subscription for like Matthew Hussey. I love Matthew Hussey. He's expensive. Derek Jackson's expensive too. They're all so expensive expensive and it was a monthly membership fee for this you know he just sit and talk to women from his bed and get up <laughs> women, right because i bet you there's hey, i'm not gonna lie i i done i've done a few coaching sessions from my bed okay but uh you know i'm not i'm not uh <laughs> i'm not telling my my male uh uh, uh clients that they're beautiful and they don't right need to and i bet you he was meeting women through that because why not, right? We're prey. We're prey to these assholes. We yeah. are all prey to him. These well, women are desperate. They're paying me hundreds of dollars. They're, I'm on a pedestal to them. I'm good looking. I got the money. I got everything. I got the pearly white, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He knew he could get us. He knew he could get us on all levels. Yeah. Now yeah. we see it full. It, now it's like clear as day. Like he's literally warning everybody about the person that he is. And, mm -hmm. and he's, he's, he's done, he's done exactly the hypocrisy of, I'm going to um, utilize this to pick up women. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to pretend to be the knight in shining armor, which is what these narcissists do. I'm yeah. going to pretend to be the, the best thing. I'm going to defend you women. I'm going to yeah. build you up and then yeah. I'm going to try and have sex with you and right? then make you get an abortion. Yeah. Oh my God. It's deceitful. He's, he knows we're learning to trust again through him and for him to do this behind all of our backs, his wife's back, you know, like I insidious, like those words I described, like those are the only, I, I feel that there's something deeper in there. There's the devil working through him. There's something so much stronger. I remember the last time, do you, do you remember the last time, you know, Sharon Osbourne, of course, have has had that talk show she's on for a long time now, but I remember, uh, I, I don't have cable, but I was, um, at the rents and I was watching her right after the very last time that Ozzy, you know, was screwing around on her once again. I mean, the man's what he, the man's crap in his pants. He's like, you know, going to be 80 years old and he's, and he's messing around with, with, with his hair, hairdresser, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, he, he apparently, the reason he throws, this is a rumor I've heard. The reason he throws water on himself on stage is because he shits and pisses himself on stage. And because he's lost all control of his bowels because of all the drug, heavy drug use. I don't even know if this is true, but I, I literally went to his shows. I didn't know do any it. of that. I didn't know any of that. Yes. Yeah, so, so, I mean, he's basically a geriatric, um, narcissist yeah geriatric narcissist so and this is this is their future okay everybody this is their future yeah yeah <laughs> Derek jackson's exactly. future and you know i i uh i always liked you know i always thought sharon osborne was very very wise she's smart mm -hmm. she's funny she's beautiful mm -hmm. a lot of plastic surgery but hey it looks she looks good hey what are you gonna do but but i remember watching her face on the view that morning after it all came out and uh she says she, the only thing she said was i don't know what i'm gonna do and you could see how hurt she was like mm -hmm. how many more times sharon are you gonna do and i remember feeling like please god leave him leave him so that the whole world can see you don't need him you don't need his money you've made it on your own you know you don't need that geriatric lunatic cheating on you i mean she found out he cheated he was Screw, he was sleeping with uh, a the, the girl probably 30 years younger than him. I mean, these people are just lunatics. They don't ever change. And when she lives stayed, so well. Yep. When she stayed again, I was just like, you know what? Like you obviously have lost your mind too. You know, you, you're yeah. not playing with the full deck anymore. You're not. No. Well, no, because that's what they do to us, right? They steal our brains. 
we can't concentrate as good anymore. We can't form sentences. We can't defend ourselves. Those damn trauma bonds that I learned so much from yeah. you on, you know, I, you prayed over me to get rid of those trauma bonds, you know, and they still creep back in, you yeah. know, and that's what got Derek Jackson's wife back was those damn trauma bonds. Yeah. It's a soul tie exchange. It's People don't realize tie. it's very, yeah. it's very serious. And it's, and it's literally why I have incorporated this into, you know, doing this every month. I, I have this prayer and fast because I recognize it's needed. It has to happen. The, these mm -hmm. things have to be broken off of you because you. you sex is serious. Sex is so serious. Let's mm -hmm. people, people nowadays, you know, we live in this world that, you know, oh, sex is serious. Like, you know, screw you. Oh, the, you know, uh, what do you RK, you know, what do you, you know, the Bible's a relic and, you know, you got archaic thinking. No, no. You know, b before medieval times, we were very, very, uh, we all understood as humans, the spirituality of things and how important it was and how real it was. And yeah. when science came about, everybody went so far the opposite way that we have forgotten how serious it is. And, and absolutely. I mean, that woman, uh, Denea needs, needs deliverance. She, she needs to be delivered from, from the evils of this man. I mean, I mean, she needs to be rescued. Yeah. She she needs to be brought. To, her family should go to her now and get her out of there. Like if her yeah. family is hearing this right now, please go get her because she won't leave on her own. Did you see how how hard he was squeezing yeah. her hand? Right. It was an, and he because he was so afraid she was going to say something or do one thing to embarrass him yeah. or not say the right thing. Yes, that's what yeah. he was sitting there thinking. He was shitting his yeah. pants. I mean. Oh yeah. No, he, he, you know, part of my language tonight, but I mean, he, he was, he, yeah. he, was, he was, uh, geez. like if you don't, if you don't talk about God tonight and we're a good Christian followers, yeah. if you're a Christian, you got to stick to this. You got to yeah. stick to this. You know, he prepped her on what to say oh, and not yeah. say. Something. Yep. Oh yeah. And he probably threatened her with something too. God only knows what he's yeah. doing to that poor, innocent woman. Yeah. He's She's probably, so beautiful. He knows. She, he knows the second she leaves, men are going to be on her because she is beautiful. Yep. But yep. look at what he's doing to her. I know. My, my ex husband. I gained fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. Yeah. The people that were closest to me knew the issues, knew what was going on, but other people, they're just like, "Oh, Marcy's getting fat." They never knew to ask me, "Are you okay, Marcy?" Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, and it happens and so to most of us, it happens to most of us, like mm -hmm. the weekend, it just, it's so symbolic of the weight you're carrying. It's the yes. weight that you have to get off of you. That's going yes. on in here and in here and in your yeah. soul. Yeah. Yeah. I was working out for eight months. I was still living with my ex-husband. I couldn't lose a single pound. Yeah. I was about ready to give up. And then the week after I moved out of his house and into this apartment, I started losing weight like that. Yeah. My eyes started to come back. Um, I would, we were in Northern California. I would move, I would come down here to Southern California and I didn't realize it until now. See, now when we see it hindsight, so that's why I'm trying to tell everybody who's still stuck in it to get out because everything that you realize, hindsight, I was running away to LA. I was running away so that I could wear what I wanted to wear, do my hair, talk like how I wanted to talk because I didn't have to be a Christian wife anymore down here, right? Yeah. I could be myself. I could burp. I could fart. I could say the F word, right? I could be, I could be me again, right? And then I would come home back to the Bay crying and he would pick me up at the airport going, God, if you keep crying when I pick you up, I'm done picking you up and you're done going down to SoCal. And I just remember having to hide that last tear having to hide everything because I didn't want to make him so angry. So could you imagine what she's feeling right now towards yeah. him? Oh yeah. Could you imagine? Oh if yeah. We're having these. Could you imagine? It's like tenfold for her because now she's been publicized. She is being abused on a deeper level than what we've been abused by because we haven't been outed to the world. Yeah. My yep. ex-husband didn't announce me to the world like what he's doing to her. He is so he I mean he's and now it's just like, he's so obvious the way he looked at her and was like, whose idea was it to go live? You know, he's, he's, he's setting the whole thing up to try and like softly land here. And you know what? He's yeah. not softly land because 
because the best of the best people out in this world are not going to follow him anymore. And that's the most important part. The people that, you know, um, you know, I guess Team are, Derek Jackson. Yeah, I guess RC Blake still follows him and people like this. Well, there's, you know, now I'm starting to wonder. There's a reason for there's a reason. Why, why would you be following the Antichrist? Why? These people are the Antichrist. They they literally are. They are walking, talking devils here on earth that, yeah. that are are that should not, you know, we're gonna give them a, a, another we're gonna give them a chance. No, that he's Christian because right. we believe in God. He is fucking with religion. Yeah. Because yeah. now how are we going to trust even more going back into the church, meeting a Christian Catholic, whatever religion you are under the Christianity umbrella? How are we going to trust another person when we should trust them the most? Right? Yeah. 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 He is. It's so God has their numbers. God has their numbers and we need to remember that. And to all of those who are still in this right now, please get out. Please, yes. please get out because yes. I became suicidal once I caught, he, I my ex narc, not the husband, but he knew I was coming to the house. Was I caught him cheating on me in person, blamed it all on me. I went home that night suicidal. Where is he now? Nowhere to be found. The last time I saw him, he ran from me. These men, aren't it mm -hmm. they aren't anything yeah. and we are in love with them and it's not our fault for being in love with them right because you don't know they're really good i always say this they're very good at what they do it's why i have doctors lawyers counselors therapists whatever you want to call them people with phds people that have the you know that literally have a doctorate in psychology and have their own practices i'm working with because they'll say to me I don't understand it. How did, how did this happen to me? I studied these people. It's, just, it's like, it's like that, that is the problem that, that, that's, that's the reality we're dealing with yeah. it's that you don't know. You just no. you know it's not your fault. It's stop blaming yourself. Like, Oh God, I'm yeah. so stupid. Yeah. I took a psychology one-on-one. -on -one. I got an A in psychology one-on-one -on -one when I knew I wanted to get into the psychology field. I took a class. I opened the book um, after I found out that the guy I was dating was a narcissist and then learning, I was like, oh my God, my ex-husband's a covert narcissist. Um, but I pulled up my psychology book and opened it to the narcissistic personality page and it does not describe it very well. No, no. It describes it as someone who is overly confident, who believes too much in their ways, even though they may be wrong. It does not discuss this. So even for those of us who are doctors who have a master's degree in this, I, after I read that, I was like, Marcy, how can you be mad at yourself? Yeah. Don't be mad at yourself over this. Yeah. Be mad if you go back, if you date somebody else and go back. Yeah. I dated another narcissist. I got out after three months. I was like, maybe I'm being hypervigilant. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but you knew, you knew all the signs. I saw the signs a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. So we may get back into another relationship with these devils, but we're going to leave a lot quicker. Yeah. And people that know me know yeah. that I am like an open book. I love sex, la, 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 la. But the guy that I'm talking to now, we're long distance. That's going to come last. Good. And I am so that. thankful for that. And my therapist even says that's going to be your saving grace with this relationship is that yeah. sex is going to come last for you guys. Yeah. Yes, and it's all should be. Yeah, and I'm not saying wait till marriage, wait till you're engaged. We're human beings. God knows where your heart is. You know what I mean? If you want to wait, wait. That's all props for you. I want to wait as long as I can, right? Yeah, because you we know, should wait. We know how serious it is. Yeah, we should wait until marriage. But that might not be for all of us. And that's okay if it's not for you. I, I don't want to say this is the right way to do it. It's the right, right way to do it for a lot of us. Yes. Right. Yeah. Because once I, you have sex, we're now bonded on a very spiritual level. And that's why God wants us to wait as long as possible. Yes. yes. I mean, I, I literally let you know, um, it's, it, there's just something it, I, I was going to make mention too earlier in this, this, um, in this chat that, um, I, I remember, I think it was last year, uh, 
Stephen Van Cars had come forward and said, I can't, I, I don't think it's right to be working with women. And I remember being like, well, that's kind of, you know, like, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't know that I believe that, you, you know, men shouldn't work with, with women yeah. and women shouldn't work with men, you know? Yeah. But I think, I think I have sort of an understanding of why he's doing that, you know, and, and now I'm really thinking that, you know, he's, he's, he's ahead of his time and he's smart, you know, because I'm sure that so many women would, were like trying to do sessions with him, falling in love with him. I would have, you know, or, um, or whatever, you know, you, you know, I think that, that, by, that might be some wise counsel, you know, I, I, I'm hearing about some of these other pastors that I have been following for a while and things of this nature that apparently are following a lot of women online and it's, it's starting to look kind of strange, you know, it is. Like, why, why, yeah. you know, and now I, I, you know, I'm really, I'm really, um, my eyes are wide open, to, you know, now today moving Whoa. forward, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm very much now, um, I'm going to sit back and do a lot more observing and um, a lot less fo following <laughs> people. You know, I'm sorry. I just, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to fall for the banana and the tailpipe again. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah. Um, trust, trust is earned. It's not given. And we're realizing that now. Yeah. And before we go into it with any coach, they need to earn our trust now. Yeah, they really do. And it sucks that we have to be so careful now around the Christian ones when that's where you should go to guidance first, right? Go to God yeah. first. Yeah, so look, that was one of the last videos I just did was talking about the, the Christian, how these narcissists hide behind the Christianity. Mm -hmm. And here we are. And here we are. Here we are. Perfect, mm -hmm. perfect example to talk about tonight. So mm -hmm. um, I got to get ready for this prayer and fast. Yes. And I'm so thankful that you came on. I'm sorry, guys. I keep doing videos right after I've worked out or I'm going to work out. So I look like crap. But um, um <laughs> at least we have somebody on here looking really pretty today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was I'm, in oh, I'm pulling a Derek Jackson. Let me just back it up here. <laughs> I was in sweats before this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, um, hey, no one is, no one, no one knew that. Um, we, I thank you so much. Uh, you're so wise, and you've been through so much, and you have so much to say, and that's why um, I, I thank you for coming on and talking to everybody about what you know, what you, you're witnessing here, and that we're not alone with this. With this, this is this is this is pretty heartbreaking. I'm sorry, but um, it is. It's just. Um, and what, and, and the last thing I want to reiterate to everybody is watch how this, 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 this robot here has not been sorry about any of it. It's all about saving his, 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 a, his ass right now. It's all about saving it. It's all just about saving it. That's all he cares about. And you can tell that's the only thing on his mind is how do I, how do I, uh, you know, get out of this. Yeah, if you he know. was a true man of God, he would just close down everything and work behind the scenes with his wife on this, not broadcast it, showcase it. And I just, for me, I just want to reiterate, ladies, guys, whoever's watching this, it's going to be okay. If I can go through what I went through, you guys can push through this too. Um, even though we're all strangers to one another, at least we're on the same platform. So I've talked to a few people on your page who are strangers to me, but at least they get it, right? Yeah. So yeah. reach out to just, when you see a thread going on on Trace's page, you know, talk to them, you know, because they're yeah. going to get this. So, so and it's like, nothing against our friends. It's yeah, just, they just, it's a different, it's a whole nother level of understanding. Um, uh, guys, I do want to reiterate that I have new groups that I'm launching as well as a um, YouTube uh, through the channel. It's just going to be like called Trace Face Social so that we can start to put a face to the name of all these people we've been seeing for years on my channel and so that they can come on. It's just a quick, simple donation. Give me, you know, 15 bucks to come on so I can run it and help facilitate it and um, hopefully get you guys to, to mingle and get to know one another and become friends. And that's my hope for this is to, you know, I'm trying to bring people together and I've done that in the groups successfully. I've, I've gotten yeah. to meet and stay in touch. And, and I want to continue to do that for you guys out there. So um, again, reach out to me, traceface it at gmail.com. 
to get more information about all this so that you can be a part of it. I'm going to do some more videos this week. And thanks again, Marciana. And um, I'll, I'll be in touch with you soon. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm Trace Face. And as we know, it is time we all face the truth together.